ourselves at all times, all right? Is on schedule for 12. And an impression of the Union Jack on the scissor page, competing in his 28. The sole loss on his record. He's sitting, waiting. The girls are starting. that this type of territory, the consensus to the hands of the Saint George Groves to dump Carl Froch onto the seat. Has started fairly well. Mint. Things is going. No rehydration clause. Head reporter Gabriel Clark. At Superior strength. Big. Bank just a little bit clumsy on that attempted right cross. First up close. Clear. Commentary position as to who would be the rings. They'd turn this into a thing. Chris Eubank at this level, but at this type of tempo, at this type of most significant factor, he's backing off. Tough there, Roland, because he might have just got caught in with the shot. Narrowly, but he hasn't done that. Maybe counter left from Groves after the attempted lead left hook from Eubank. Two men flip. Test of strength the through round two. But as much as we've seen him in this contest, sprung back up, lead left and time shots. Dominant part of his arsenal. Groves tucking up in from Eubank to this point. Yeah, Groves. to Groves, but both worker his way out to Groves into that corner. But well, Eubank's corner should that have been he rushed in and was called in the sole loss on Chris Eubank Jr.'s record. He take on his record against Billy just half of the fight, allowing that's a good left hook to the body, then right hook over the top, and now it's a fire fight! Big left hook landed by Eubank for the fences! And Groves! Good left hook and a good right hand. On tens of hooks, power to end it with one shot on his professional ledger. We so often characterise it much to this point in the contest, but he said he's capable. Chris Eubank remaining concentrated. Shot salvo from graining further damage to that eye. Groves with that jab. He knows he's got to get close up to Jabby, just too slow, and he's not doing it at the moment. Better round again, I think. WBA super champ. Looks a nasty cut as well, Ronald. So that's from the cut. Trying a better than did Chris Eubank Jr., but he only cut out as many predicted it would, particularly those who think who was going to come out on top. Two weight world champion. Eubank trying to get to work. Ring. As much discussed spars. See the attacks coming. Eubank has got to quicken the feet up. Go, but he's waiting far too long. And he's getting caught as he's forward. Groves is being able to see these attacks coming. And for me, I think Eubank almost following his man. Excellent ring generalship being damaged. Probably Chris Eubank seeing. There's a lead left hook again. And Eubank for right cross. But Groves intelligently ties his man up and walks him away from the con. As Eubank's hand speed is, his feet sometimes don't follow him. And he gets his space himself to. Good right from Chris Eubank Jr. by some distance. On the follow up, so does the right hand. He bulldozes his man back. Knows he's got to get up to his man. Waiting a little bit too long, and the waiting game. Junior close that gap. That's his problem. Look for every time. Got to get close. But that must be a complete faith in his corner. Right hand wasn't too far away, but Groves is front hand. These shots straying around the back of its total responsibility. If you're to believe the public pronouncements, but he's going to have to put complete trust and faith in his corner now. That the eye will hold up, and that he can concentrate on fighting. Not really. Got that right hand caught, he fired it once again. Eubank on the inside, and again he's looking to go to work with that vaunted uppercut. He hasn't got a consistent foothold in this. And remember, he was saying George that the defeats against Carl Froch have taken something away from his spirit and his ability. Now he's trying to wage war at close range once again, getting to work with his free right hand. The physical strength of Groves, who sh Just keeping him at this side. Remember, the winner of this contest will face the winner of the semi-final in Nuremberg as Callum Smith will take on Jürgen Bremer, the former long-time WBA light heavyweight champion. Close and personal with Groves once again. Groves tucking up tightly. In the gap down when he can't look there. Hard left up. Be easier work than his two contests against Carl Froch. The centre ring. He said a contest here against Chris Eubank Jr. would be Ian's Carl Froch. Against Badu Jatha Finn. Victory, Oban amateur rival George James DeGale throwing fewer punches, but he's accuracy from the reigning WBA super champion. Well, Eubank again trying to. Bramwell Lane last summer. 
winning that with a split decision loss. But he said he got his tactics wrong. Eubank lunges in with another hook. The head's coming dead at stoppage. At this type of tempo, as Eubank got through with a good hand, but at this type of tempo, one suspects that George Browns. Can Eubank do anything to change it? He's tried to do so now. It's a work from Eubank there. Just half the, the, the contest, it's maintained that. What second half of the contest? Can he get past that lead left actively? And again, prevents Eubank. Base. Launching in with another lead left end, tapping the rib cage with his free right hand. That one through. George Short with boxers. He's waving his man, engaging. He's paid quick in the tempo. Can he test the as good as his word? He's controlling. Junior knows he's got to recover. It's the way he's doing it, and he's just doing it too wild. He's like, the quality's not quite there. He's nullifying his own work a lot of the time. Always on the verge of leaking once again. Another big flash from Eubank, and he flashes a right grin through his gun shield. Eubank trying to bob him. Junior not. Not anything, is he, Chris Eubank Junior? As I say that, or left of that one. The fact that he's able to throw George Groves, but it was most certainly a scoring with a big left hook that caught George Groves. And then Eubank is caught, and now this fight. Both boxers really going for it. Tremendous. Of that round. And Eubank now looking to quicken the tempo with more consistency. Chasing after his man with a type of intensity we thought would. I mean, George Groves, he's a, we're just seeing signs now that Eubank said maybe George is where you just take your foot off the gas. But to get closer to Groves. That's the view that I share. George Groves said all of the... He's got a position on his resume, so good. But Eubank launching forward with another marauding attack, tipping Eubank at bay. The one-two misses. Eubank now up close once again, but the work is smothered up close range. Caught square. Is Eubank, Eubank straight. He's hitting and moving back and tying him up on the inside. It's difficult to land a clean shot. Stern admonishment, what a lead. Yeah, on, the, on his bike and get close. The hooky actually let him... Well, he may be entering the stage now as he lands a good leap. And then Groves from the space of centre ring, like looking, went looking for him. Blow, walked onto that shot. Better boxer. He will be entering the realm with... Highly anticipated from Eubank, who's been touched up by... Under a wide-legged stance, and he swings for the Whoa. fences, and his own momentum carries... Eubank's face, a crimson mask behind that flow of blood down his left right cheek. Now he's swinging away, and he would have anticipated. Instead, it's George Groves, but Eubank's still swinging away, pinning Groves to the ropes, targeting the body, targeting him. And now he's on the front foot as you take a breather and see. He hasn't really used any boxes. Well, he said that he wants this gun, waving his man on, sensing that Eubank is there for the taking. Remember, Eubank putting so much onto these shots, and now he's getting touched up in the corner once again. The two men on our scorecards here ringside. He's going in with a big lead left hook again and nudging on his way so far tonight. We have seen signs, but it's not happening. A contest at this type of left hook, but surely the Eubank needs to, to test the chin and conditioning of Groves. He's he just leans on, going to find his work, not allowing him to, to swing away. Can he find the shot here now? Back in round number three. Round up with it, walked onto a shot from Grove. Hand of his own, catching the shaven headed figure and driving him back to the ropes. Eubank is desperately tired. But... Needs it. Sitting on the back foot. We've got to get him forward. Exchange into that would be dangerous. Eubank is incredibly weary He's... because surely that's what he needs now. Closing seconds of the 11th rotation on the swings of Chris Eubank Jr. The semi-final of the World Boxing Super in the biggest fight of his career. By a country mile on the scorecards. He knows that. Surely Chris Eubank in his court. Eubank is putting everything into these swings. Plenty of industry. Deserted him here. He remains after his man. There's a good days. Incessantly on the chosen. He knows he's behind. Korea. Well, Eubank can summon the put Groves out for the count. Uppercut got through, but the follow-ups didn't. Groves being put under pressure, putting his wits about him, hands down by his side. Went off this final round, has proved to be significant to this point in the contest.
He's proved to be the better ring general. You bang it on. Accuracy, not what it needs to be. Good right uppercut from Groves, fighting out of the corner. Still becoming increasingly weary under pressure from Eubank. He's tagged by a right hook. Groves fighting back flat-footed, lands with a right hand of his own. He's bringing uppercuts into play. Blood on the lens here at the Manchester Arena. Toe-to-toe exchanges. Bomb from Eubank needed a great lap. He's going for right hand.